Hello, 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 everyone. It's Kim from KNRP here in southeastern Manitoba. It is a chilly day today. It is minus three, but it feels like minus 11 with the wind chill. That's Celsius. And then in Fahrenheit, that would be 27 degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels like 12. It's definitely a chill wind. Um, our temperatures are supposed to be taking a nosedive for the next few days. I don't know what to say. Spring is here. <laughs> this is the way it goes. We get a lake in the backyard and it freezes, so it could be a skating rink. It's the way it is, right? Hey, Marguerite. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you here. I have, let's just switch this so that I can, there we go. Much better. Hey, Dad, nice to see you. So, what I just, quick, what I've been doing. I finished off that little journal that we were working on um, on Sunday. So that one is, it's kind of cute. It's just, you know, a little art journal with stuff in it that you can play with. So I managed to get something completed. Hey, Anne, nice to see you. Supposed to get rain tomorrow. I don't know what our weather is doing. You know the way it is here, Jen. Seriously, I had a lake in the backyard again, and it's all frozen over. It's nuts. Absolutely nuts. So... Finished the little journal. Yesterday, Dana was nice enough to have me come and play with the JB5s again. I didn't make a mess this time. I, I don't know what I was thinking last week. <laughs> anyway, but those papers are really cute when they're all chopped up. So I did manage to do some lovely papers um, this time round. So, of course, those are going to get chopped up and used in journals or for ATCs or whatever. Not sure. I, I like them. You know, they they definitely have something much better going for them. Maybe the colors because they're a little bit brighter. I don't know. Don't know. Anyway, they're happier, much happier. Those got done. What else did I get done? Um, Just regular mess on my desk so today we are going to do oh thanks Anne. thanks thanks yeah get my skates on for the frozen lake this is really weird this chat is not showing all of my chat i wonder if i scroll down just a little bit okay there we go if i do that but then the top of my screen's cut off all's good i just need to be able to see chat Thanks, Jan. So today we're doing lace. We've done lace twice in the last little while. So today I think we're going to do something completely different. I hope somebody's playing along. I've I had uh, a nice idea. Well, Jan, Jan, Jean had a great idea that if I use Streamyard and if somebody's playing along towards the end of the stream, if somebody wants to come and show what they were doing while we were playing, that'd be awesome. You don't have to show your face, but if your camera could be on your desk or you could just hold up what you're doing in the camera, that would be an absolute blast to do. Um, okay, so it was lace. Let's uh, pull for next week. Let's get rid of this lace one. I'm done with lace. Well, I will be after today. So we have brown, blue, neutral, purple, green, Red, pink, and yellow. Hey, Roel, nice to see you. How are you feeling? You haven't been around for a while. Oh, I got these. We had a really big 50th birthday party here when, hey, Dana, when all of us turned 50, there, there was a bunch of us. We're still friends from junior high, elementary, that kind of thing. So the color scheme was blue and yellow because that was the colors from our high school. So I got these goblets and they had floral arrangements in them and they were on all the tables. So I've got a couple left, they're plastic, but they they are kind of fun. Okay, can we pick a color? Can anybody pick a color? And this is going to tell us what we're doing. Oh, it's a better day today, that's good to know. That's good to know. That's been lasting a long time with you. That's brutal. Color. Anyone? Dana, I was just showing off the beautiful pages 
you helped me with yesterday. <laughs> Kim Bolton and the Goblet of Popsicle Sticks. The Popsicle Sticks of Possibilities. Yellow? All right. That's Next week, we're going to be doing journal cards. Didn't we just do that one as well? What the heck? I must have it in here a couple times. That's okay. We can do journal cards. There's always something to do with journal cards. Let's leave that there. We will do journal cards. Perfect. All right. So we are going to do lace today. But I want to use lace on paper clips because we've edged pages with lace. We've put lace on journal cards. We've done lace on belly bands. We've used, hey, Sherry, nice to see you, hon. We've done lace on a lot of different things. So today I want to use lace on paper clips. Are you guys up for that? So I pulled out just some white copy paper because I'm going to set up a couple of um, flat paper clips, if you know what I mean. So let's just let's just do this. So because these paper clips and we want these ones buried, so we're going to take it and we're going to double it from there. So we're just going to take the paper and we're going to fold it in half. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to just take paper clips and we're just going to put a couple of paper clips on. Let's do like, oh, look, I even have these kind. I'm not going to use that kind. And we are going to make sure the big side, the big side of the loop is on the back. Not that it really matters. So we're going to do them. How far apart is that? You know, I don't measure, but I'll do that for you today. Um, from... The edge of this pink one to the edge of the white one is an inch and a quarter. Let's do them. It doesn't matter what color because they're all going to be covered. But we're going to do this. Yep, I can get five across. That'll do. Five across will be lovely. Okay. Now we're going to cut this across the bottom. That's actually a little bit on the long side. So we're going to trim that. So there's probably a quarter, you know, because we have to cut it from the long side. Never mind. Flip the paper over. Hey, Maritza, nice to see you, hon. We're making um, decorative paper clips with lace on today. So you can see where the paper clip is, the long side of the paper clip. That's the side we're going to cut on. We're going to do about a quarter of an inch away from the paper clip because we'd like it to be buried. And then we're going to cut between them. You know, I probably should have waited on that, but that's okay. We're going to do them individually anyway. So we're going to make sure the paper clips kind of in the center of those strips that we just cut. If you don't like the way they're, you know, we're going to just make sure that they're a little bit straighter. Is this making sense to you guys? Am I going too fast? Anyone? If anybody's playing along. Anybody want to come on screen with me? Anyone? And you guys are probably going, oh, you're using paper, Kim, and you said we're going to be using lace. We are going to use lace. But first, we're going to get these ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it where the open side is. We're going to make sure the open side is to that side. And we're going to glue it down. Does that make sense? So we're going to take the, on the long side, we're going to put glue on it and stick it down to the edge of the paper. We're just doing bases right now. And then we'll get to the other stuff. And the reason I'm just using white copy paper is because we are going to decorate them with lace and other things. Whoa, it's alive. I'm just using Elmer's liquid glue all because we know that that's what I use. 
Okay, so we're going to do that. And we are going to stick it down onto this paper. Press it down just so it's good and good and stuck. And we're going to do that with all of them. Anybody got interesting plans for the rest of the day? My eldest daughter is coming for supper. And I'm going to try something that I haven't done before. It doesn't look very hard. I figure I can do it. So we're going to try it. I'm going to do a sheet pan cooking where everything goes in one pan. You throw it in the oven and you cook it. But that's okay. Yeah, I guess I should have put it on a different paper. You're right. Well, it's these ones are glued down. Well, <laughs> I should have done it. You're right. Oops. Is it okay? Can I finish this or should I do the other three on a different colored paper? It's just that I want the white because we're going to be covering them in lace. We are going to be covering things in lace. Okay, if I do a close-up, it's better? Okay. And you want to make sure that that's stuck. Especially across the bottom where the opening's going to be. We can always add a little bit more glue after if we need to. And because I've left spaces between this time, I don't know that I'll get all five across. Oh. Well, that doesn't help when you squish your paper clip over. Uh, okay, Kim's getting covered in glue. It's hard to see on your phone. Okay, I will come up close again and show you what I'm doing. So what I've done is we've got the folded paper in the paper clip. And so it's kind of open and then, right? So I'm gluing one side down to the white page because we're going to fold it over, trim it and glue it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And this, it's, I was awake in the middle of the night last night because you know that that happens with me sometimes. So I was watching YouTube and this lady did 20 odd, 20 different dinners. I cut this down so that it will fit on here. Um, 20 sheet pan dinners and they look super easy and lovely different um, mixtures of vegetables, meats and spices. So I'm going to try and do a Cajun kind of dinner. So I trimmed that last one down so that I can get all five across this page again. Oop. Okay, so can you see the, the spaces between? Oh, yeah, that's uh, whiting out on my screen. Sorry, guys. Okay. So anyway, we've got that down. We're going to take it and we're going to fold it so that those are all buried. Okay. So you can see where everything is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on each of these we're going to fold that over and then we're going to trim it again. So we're just going to do a really quick on each one because we can go back and stick some glue down on the edges if we need to. So I am just scribbling with the wet glue. 
And this is the small side of the paper clip on this side. Where it's supposed to be. Doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter. I'm just trying to make things easier for you guys. Just making sure I got glue on them all. Now we're going to take this and we're going to press it down. Hey, Belinda. All right. Mine too. Okay, so now we're going to trim across there. Does that make sense? Can you see that? So now we have all these paper clips encased in paper. Right? So if you kind of hold it up to the light, you can see where you want to cut between them. So we're going to cut down this edge here. And there. It's okay if you cut a little bit of the stuff off that you had before. We just need to make sure that those paper clips are encased in So now I have five paper clips encased in paper, ready to be used and decorated to our heart's content. Have you guys done paper clips like this before? Um, you know what? I find that if it's cardstock, it gets really thick. And when you go to use it, it doesn't hold as nice for some reason. So I figured I would just use copy paper because it was easy. On the outside, I have used painty paper. I have used um, a, a decorative uh, cardstock uh, scrapbook paper on the outside. But paper is, yeah. This just makes it easy, right? Because what's going to happen then is you've got, it goes like this on your page, right? I'm glad it's easier to follow. I just figured that that would be just something nice and easy for us to do as is, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And... When the, there's so much cardstock on it, not only is it bulky in your books, I mean, this is going to get bulky because we're going to be decorating them, but it, it just, I don't know. Definitely on the outside, you could use cardstock, you know, put it down against the edge of the cardstock, do it so you fold it over. I don't have a scoreboard, so I find when I go to fold cardstock, I get some really fugly folds. So we've got these. We're going to let those dry just a little bit. You know what? Maybe I should just make sure that I haven't glued the pages all together. Let's use this. Let's use this. Good. That one's good. Yeah. The nice thing when you've got this kind of a, you can decorate it like you would an ATC or a journal card or, you know, you could just have a nice embellishment on it. You could do a little floral thing. You could do, we're going to play lace and we're going to make some fairies today is what we're going to do. Or no embellishments at all. Yeah, you could just have them plain like that. Do it like a ticket, right? 
Okay, so I want to do fairies today. So we're going to make the wings out of lace. Surprise! So I think I want a little bit wider lace. But I want a flat lace. So I'm going to use this. Because I don't want the wings too, too big. But I want them... You know what? Maybe, maybe... I've got this lace with this... Good grief. This is just coming undone here. Ha! Oi. Of course you can use any kind of lace you want. But I think that wings out of this ribbony lace would be kind of cute too. Let's let's lop off a hunk of that. One thing I didn't put in the supply list. Look, I don't even know where the end is. I'm just taking... I have a mess. I have a big tangled mess, guys. Look, the end is over here. We'll fi fix this later. We'll put this there. I'm going to take this, this end. We're going to lop off probably. Let's do um, this big. That big is... Uh, need better scissors. Sorry, I'm not going to put that back in just yet. I will have to restring all that because I can. Um, these scissors, I think, are better. The one thing I didn't ask you guys to grab was like some threads or strings or that kind of thing. Oh, that could be fun. That could be lots of fun, and. So I'm going to take this piece, and then I am going to take my crochet cotton. Believe it or not, I have crochet cotton. Uh, let's not spill that. I knocked over a thing with beads and stuff in it yesterday. Oh, yep, it was uh, an interesting thing. So we're going to take probably, okay, let's. For those of you that need to know, hey, Teresa, I'm glad you're here. Um, I will show you how to thread that, use that needle threader shortly, okay? I, I just want to get this one um, fairy, angel, whatever we're doing, uh, paper clip done, and then I will do that. So this piece is about two and a half inches. So you want about a two and a half inch piece of lace and you want, I'm going to do it seven inches doubled, doubled piece, seven inches. There's a reason for that. Okay, so a 14 inch piece of string cord, whatever. Now we're going to fold that in a half again. So it's a quarter of that, right? So we're going to cut this end. Let's put these ones away. Okay, so that was seven inches twice, hold it in half. Now we're gonna take this loop, and we're gonna hold it in the middle of this lace, and we're gonna bring the ends up and through like we do for uh, when we're putting string on tags. No, middle of, middle of the lace, Kim. Let's just fold that piece in half and hold it. So we've got it like this through the loop. Can we see? Does that make sense? I put the ends through the loop. We're just going to pull that tight. Got it? Okay. Does that make sense? So it's got a little bit of a gather in the in the middle. So it kind of gives it like a wing effect. Does that make sense? Okay, 
So we want it tight. So I'm going to just put that down there. So it's going to go on here. Now, if it's a fairy or an angel or whatever, it needs a dress, right? Do we want to use lace? Do we want to use painty paper? What would we like to use for a a uh, dress on here? We could use, look, I've got this really nice blue eyelid -y lace with a ribbon through. Let's use a hunk of that because we're supposed to be using lace today. So we only need a piece that goes the full length of the paper, okay? Top to bottom of the paper, we're going to do that. Could hang over just a little bit, not too concerned, but it needs to cover that paper covering the paper clip. You guys do know that I'm making this up as I go along, right? <laughs> right? You know? So now what we're going to do is we're going to gather this. So we're going to need to have a threaded needle. Teresa, I'm going to thread the needle with this needle threader here. Right? Needle threader. Let's put the glasses on so that you can see what you're doing. Um, just a regular sewing needle. It's got a reasonably small eye. So we're going to stick it eye side into the hole. Okay? Then we're going to take thread, cut a piece. Are you here, Teresa? Are you here, hon? You put it across there, right? Across behind on this side. Then you push this, and it's supposed you hold it kind of tight. You push it through, and you're supposed to get a loop through. It's there. You just kind of got to pull it a little bit. Ah. Can you see the loop? So you pull the loop. Then you pull the needle out. And it's threaded. Oh, no, it isn't because I pulled the wrong spot. Sorry. Let's do that again. See, I was practicing and I had it. No, I don't have it. <laughs> okay, so you put the, the needle in. You put the thread across and you hold it. You poke it through. Come on. I love this thing because it does work. You just have to do it. There we go. So it, you can see that the thread is around that. So then you pull it. Right? You pull it so the end is out. Then you pull your needle up and you've got a threaded needle. Yes, no, Teresa? It really does work nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to make these together. Tie a knot. So we are just going to do a quick running stitch gather across the top of this lace. It has, mine has a little ribbon sticking out. So I want to make sure that I catch that ribbon. Otherwise it's going to come undone. Yeah, this device, Teresa bought one. She showed that she had bought one. So I asked her if she figured it out. So I said I would show her how to use it. So we're just going to gather that. We want it reasonably flat because we want it reasonably flat. So I'm just going to go back and forth a couple of times just to make sure that it's not overly bulky. 
And you know, guys, you don't have to sew it. You could you could just glue it down and then clamp it with a clothespin. I'm just doing that because I want it a little bit roughly. One more time. One more time. And then we'll tie, we'll just make a knot there. There we go. It's gonna be glued right away anyway, so. It's just to hold it in place, make it easier for gluing. So now we're going to put the wings down. We're going to have the string pointing up so they would be coming outside with beeswax. Yeah, that works too, Marguerite. So we're going to make sure that the wings are about there. We're going to make sure that this is glued down at the top. Okay, so this one, we're going to put some glue on the back and we're going to stick it to this piece of paper. Do it about three quarters of an inch down. Dot, dab of glue. Can you see that? We're going to make sure, and the strings go to the top, to the top. Put that down. Getting all these pins. Uh oh. That one fell. Okay, so we've got some wings happening. We've got this string up here. We want that string to stay where it is. We're going to take this and we're going to glue this at the top. You don't have to cover, you know, the wings are down. They're going to be held. We're going to put that across the top. We can glue it down if we want. We don't have to, but we're going to put some glue down. Make sure the strings are in the glue. And then we're going to put glue on the back of this to make sure this gets held down. And we're going to put that right there. Hey, Jean, welcome. Okay, so we've got that like this. So, of course, you can put the wings up a little bit if you want instead of straight across. Glue them down. Stitch them down. Whatever you like. We, let's, I've got a cornered thing here. And, and let's just do that on this so that it's a little bit rounded. Okay. Does that make sense? I think I want my wings to be up just a little bit. So I'm going to glue those down and use a clothespin to hold them. That's pretty thick lace that I'm using because of the ribbon in the middle. See? My dress popped off. I'll put some glue here. that wing up there then I want to take a, this card forward thing in again hey Anina welcome welcome we are playing lace in our paper clips today doing uh, paper clip fairies. Okay, so then I'm going to put this one down and put some more glue there and I'm gonna put a paper clip on that as well. Not a paper clip. These are plastic clothespins. You could use paper clips, you could use a clamp, whatever you have handy to hold it. So I've got this conglomeration here. Once the glue dries, bonus. So now we need to make the heads. We are going to cut two heads. Since I'm doing it on the white paper, I'm probably just going to use white copy paper to do the heads. 
and I think that I would like them not overly big because the prototype I did do, I did it fairly big and I wasn't a fan. She's really kind of goofy looking. I will show you my prototype. So I had this orange eyelash yarn. So I figured, oh, let's give her orange eyelashes. Her head's big. The hair is going to be these strings that are coming out the top here. But I didn't put paper behind. So this one's an angel because I put a halo on her and I used that white stuff that, you know. But we're going to put lace. We could use fabric. We could do whatever, right? But I think her head's a little bit big. I just went in my bucket of circles and pulled two. And we're just going to make them with a sleepy face, you know, closed eyes, smile lashes, nose and a mouth. Or you could just leave them blank. Leaving them blank would be very cute too. Just put a little halo on if you want to make it an angel. But like I say, I think that the one inch circle is too big. Does it make sense? It could be like a headband, definitely. She could be like a flapper girl. And of course, like she's got no arms or anything. I could have given her arms and some flowers. Anything, anything goes. And I just used painty paper and did it like we do the other paper clips so that it's not totally buried like these. I just figured these would give us more thing to play with, right? So anyway, this is the first one I did. The one inch head is too big. So the glue bottle is a little bit smaller. Let's just uh, draw a glue bottle circle. I need something to draw with. <laughs> Don't figure. Uh, look, I have a pencil pen. We're just going to draw around here a pencil crayon nope she's gonna have a flat head well we can fix that i'm just gonna fold it in half because we want to because we want a back and a front of course you could use uh tim holtz paper doll definitely you could glue one down and then put lace wings behind her you could use a magazine Thing, a collage lady you could do anything anything at all I don't have Tim Holtz paper dolls so and heads aren't usually perfectly round so if I don't manage to do it perfect then that's perfectly fine as long as you know you've got two the same and the reason we want two the same is because those strings are going to go through the head to be the hair, right? So you could use any color thread, crochet cotton, string, yarn, whatever you like. If you are going to use yarn, I would suggest you use um, cardstock or file folder, something a little bit heavier so that the yarn isn't, you know, too much lines on the face so let's just draw a simple face on this lady let's do some uh, closed eyes we'll just give her a few little eyelashes a bit of a nose and let's give her some lips some nice bright or that's fluorescent orange let's not give her fluorescent orange lips guys let's find something more like a red or a pink it's a pink. I've got a pink. So we'll just give her some, just a little bit of lips. And we'll give her a little bit of blush with this pink. You know, rosy cheeks. And where did that go? 
I'm just. Uh, maybe some eyebrows. Because we should have eyebrows. She's got purple eyebrows. <laughs> just a simple little face. Are you still doodling, Jan? That's cool. See, now I lost that pencil again. Just want to give better eyebrows. A little bit more matchy. Oh, well. She is what she is. Let's see how well this is. Oh, good. Good. That's good. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this circle and we're going to glue it on the back like this. Does that make sense? Like that. We're going to glue that head down like that. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. That could be fun to do. They'd be great for different collages and things. Just want to make sure it's holding. Oh, look, her dress fell off. Well, obviously that glue wasn't dry enough. Sheesh. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Lots of glue. Put lots of glue down. Lots of glue. It's okay. So we've got these hairs coming up. So let's just spread them out just a little bit. So it's, you know. You've seen those mugs where they're just like four or five hair. You could add more if you like obviously if you've got you know i'm just going to do it like that kind of spread out can you see that okay and i'm going to put some glue on this head here and then we're going to put the face on Trying to line up the head that little bit. Now we're going to give her a haircut. Give her a haircut. This one's a fairy. I'm going to consider this one a fairy. Yes, no. <laughs> Stripping angel. Yep. <laughs> this is a fairy. So like I say, you can do it this way with lace, fabric, whatever. This one I just used painty paper and a big moon head or a sun head or something. I love the, uh, I was trying to get a curve for these eyelashes, you know, have, the, but they just didn't work. So she's got really big orange eyebrows with crazy long eyelash things, guys. I don't know. I don't know. And of course, if you want, use some pipe cleaner, give her some arms. You could give her a basket or something to hold. 
But if you've got her on a page, let's use this one again. And of course, she's really wet still. She's kind of cute peeking up over the top of your book. Oh, the first one, I, that was my prototype. I did that yesterday because I had an idea and it's like, we're doing lace. What can I do with lace that we haven't done before? So that's, you know, I figured I would do this and just have lace for the wings. But this lace is pretty heavy for the wings. It worked though, you know. See if I can take that apart without discombobulating it. So there we have it. One little fairy. Like I say, you could add more hair. You could use yarn. You could use um, bits of paper. Whatever you like. So I'm thinking that maybe what I would do is make a whole bunch of faces so all I have to do is glue them on. We'll see. Anyway, there's one. Okay. That's how I would do a fairy paper clip. Okay, let's do another one. And we're not doing a fairy this time. Got my art spin. Okay, this is the side that opens. Let's just take a piece of lace and put it down the center here. Let's find something reasonably flat that will cover that. I have this yellow. I think I'll use the yellow. We're just going to cover the whole thing with lace. Yeah, I figured you guys were tired of using just like laces, edgings, and that kind of stuff. Okay. So now we could do this like a cluster, right? Let's just glue this lace down and we could do it like a cluster with a bunch of little things. Oh, isn't that awesome? That would be awesome, Anne. What a great idea. So I'm just going to put some glue down the two edges. And we're going to put the lace down. All right. So. Now we can take another little piece of lace if we want. We'll do like a little cluster kind of thing. Uh, what do we want to use? We could use, don't have buttons. We could sew beads on. We could sew a sequin and a bead on. Maybe that's, is that going to be too hard to go through with all that glue? We'll find out. We will find out. Photos of guests at fancy rich people parties. Matchbooks or similarly, that would be cute. Pardon me. Like Barb's relatives. Okay, so that's kind of tapped down like that. Let's take some... I wonder if I've got some yellow ribbon. Let me just look to see if I've got some yellow ribbon. Because I think yellow ribbon would be fun.
I don't have one. Let's go all girly on this one. Let's go all girly. So I've got this tealish blue ribbon. So I'm thinking it'd be nice to have like two or three just hanging down. They don't all need to be the same length. So I'm just going to cut three of those. You know me and my threes. Okay, so we'll just glue those down just like that right there. Hey, Beth, welcome, welcome, hon. Oh, thanks, Kevin. You're a sweetheart. Okay, so we're going to glue those three down. I just missed you the other night, Kevin. It's like I got there and you guys were just leaving or you just finished. I don't know. So we're going to put these down just like this. And we'll put the short one right in the middle. Maybe. Will it go? No, need more glue. More glue. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, drink! I have an idea. I have little bits of this blue embroidery floss left from doing that little journal. Does that go with that? Mm, yes and no. You know what? I think I want to use, I think I would like to use this and I'm going to go grab some beads because I put that all away. Believe it or not, I put it away. What was I thinking? Okay, I did put it away. I put it on the pile over on the other side of my desk. I lied, guys, I lied. Okay, so I've got this crochet cotton. It's pretty thin, it's blue, it's going to do what I need it to do. So I'm going to take a piece. Well, let's go that long. And I'm going to tie a knot in the end. Like I say, if anybody is playing along, I will send you the link and you can come play along on screen. That'd be awesome. And, oh, see, dropping beads. Dropping beads. Trying to just string these beads without waxing or gluing the end of this. You know what? I think I have to put some glue on the end of this. Or beeswax. Do I, where's my beeswax? Of course my beeswax isn't where I put it. Because I moved everything when I clean. And then I don't put it back. Okay, let's uh, put some glue on here and dip the thread. Beads? Yeah. I know, I'm supposed to be using lace. We're using lace today. So I made this little fairy using lace for the wings and for her dress. And she's a hidden paper clip. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, she's kind of cute. The one I did yesterday, her head's too big, but she's kind of fun. And I used eyelash yarn for her eyelashes, and she's kind of goofy looking, but she's still fun. Okay, so I put some glue on the end of the string to use like an aglet. And I just want some blue beads. I'm going to, why would I put my glue on the lid, guys? You know, <laughs> dress me up, can't take her everywhere. You need her in your life? Who? Who do you need in your life? The crazy angel? <laughs> I got glue on my fingers. Okay. We'll let that glue dry. I didn't do her on screen. I have to kind of tip them. Got them? Yeah, John, exactly, because it's there. You got them, Kathy? You're welcome. So I just did this, this one on this kind of a hidden paper clip where you just fold the paper and you glue it down so that it goes like this. Right? So it goes like that. And that's what we're doing with this one now. I've got the lace down. I've got some ribbon. I want to put a few little beads on. It'd be nice if uh, I actually had these separated into colors. I could pull out a bin that it's just all blue beads, but I just want little beads. Okay. Let's use this. Much easier. Much easier. This is why my desk is always such a mess, because I just use what I've got on hand. I just had one of those ones. Oi! See, I still have black ink on my fingers from yesterday. I tried washing it off. It didn't come off. Oh, thanks, Belinda. It was a lot of fun. These ladies are a blast to play with. They really are. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is... That's not coming off that knot. I'm going to tie a knot kind of between the beads. Because I don't want them right on top of each other. I want just a little bit of a gap between them. Okay, so that tells me I need to do a double knot in order for the beads not to slide over it. Again, guys, I'm making stuff up as we're going along here. You know how it goes. Oh, yes, please. Thank you for the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate that. Oh, that's way, way far. It's okay. And of course, if I was doing this off camera, I would probably do three or four little strings of beads to stick in there. Uh, let's go from the top. Let's do this one from the top because there's more string there now. So I'm just doing a little string, a few little beads. 
knots between because I want it to be kind of interesting. Oh, lost that bead. That's okay. I can put it back on. It's hard getting the knots right on top of each other. There we go. Did it. Did it. Did it. See, now I can't find the hole of the bead. There we go. There we go. See, it's just like a little string with just a few little beads on. I'm going to tie a knot. Uh-oh. i got to add another knot to that because the bead just slipped over it. He just slipped right over it. Ugh. Then I totally missed. Oh my goodness, see? This is what happens when you do things online. When you have an idea and you use this idea, you've done it many times in the past. Oi. <laughs> but then you're in a hurry because you don't want to bore everybody to death. So you uh, fumble your way through it. Fumble your way through. There we go. Okay, so little string beads, knots. It's cute. Just going to tie another knot at this end because I am going to put a dab of glue down. And I'm going to hang it from those things there. I'm going to trim that. Dip that in the glue because I put glue on the top, on the lid. Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I too thick. <laughs> we do love watching glue and paint dry. It's what we do, right? It's what we do. Okay, so I've got that. Now I have these silk roses. I've got white ones, but I've got these peachy colored ones. Look at these little peach ones. Wouldn't they look lovely with this yellow and the blue? Or I have these little rosy colored ones. I don't know which one I like best. What I want to do though, is I want to take another little bit of that lace With the yellow flat. Oh, nope. Use the yellow flat. And I'm going to take about just a square. Just a square of that lace. Because we're using up lace today. We are using up lace today. An inch at a time. You're on Kim's channel. Use it everything an inch at a time. <laughs> you know, I uh, really need to. So what I want to do is I want to kind of fold it off center like this. Right? So we've got two points going up. Does that make sense? We're going to put some more glue down. Let's just see if I can get this glue. I put a big glob of glue. And I want that lace right there. Stay. Stay. Let's use a clothespin. Plastic clothespin to the rescue. 
Okay, so it's going to look like this on the corner. Just a bunch of little points of lace because it's kind of fun. I have so much lace and I just don't use it. I really don't use a whole lot of lace. And I don't know why. Well, aside from the fact that my journals aren't really conducive to using lace. If that makes sense. Like... My journals are much more grungy than what, I don't know. So, what should I use? This, this, or white? I want it to be a little bit punchier, so I think I, I really like these pinky ones. Anyone? And I think that I really should have done two or three of those little strings of beads. But it's okay. It's okay. Oh, you know what I could do? I was just thinking, it would be nice if I had like a little leaf or two. I could cut paper leaves, but let's use... How about if I just put just a little bit of green lace and then put the flowers on? Pink is good. Like this pink, this dusty rose pink. I'm going to put just a smidge of that green. And I mean, just a little bit. Just like this, like a little half an inch. Just kind of hanging down with the roses on top so it just gives the hint of leaves so that I don't. Okay, so I only need three of these little roses. So I wonder how far, I bet you I could just cut them. You know what, let's use those ugly scissors for cutting wire because they're already pooched. One, two, three. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're going to just put this little bit of green on, just so we've got a hint of greenery happening. We're just using lace. We're, we're using lace like we would use bits of paper. <laughs> That's the way I'm doing it. Okay. So now I'm going to put a dab of glue on the back of this rose. I'm going to push it in. This one too. Come on. I think I left those stems just a little big yet. Yep. Little big. I'm going to trim this one down and I'm just going to stick it in the glue that's there. See, I think I should have done two or three of those little strings of beads. And I'm going to trim this green lace down just a little bit once it's... Hey, Malia, welcome, welcome. I am using lace and beads and whatever I've got kicking around because we have to. We just have to. So this is another paper clip just finished. What will it look like on a piece, a page? Like that. So that would be sticking up on top of your journal page or whatever. Some ribbons, some beads. Yes, no? I think that's kind of cute. 
So I'm going to put a clamp on these to hold them in the glue. Mm. I might have to use hot glue on that, guys. We'll see. We'll see. I think I'm going to have to. We'll just leave that there. We will leave that there. Put these flowers away. All right. I can go wrong with lace and beads, Malia. I can, really. Okay, so we have done two paper clips with lace. You can always do a tassel with lace. Okay, now let's take a ruffly lace. I've got this peachy, ruffly lace with a ribbon. It's almost like a chiffon. A little bit of lace around the edge. I guess this is more of a trim than lace. But we're going to put it... Just so it goes across the top. Oh, look, I'm using those ugly scissors again. Why do I keep grabbing those ugly scissors? So it would be nice if we had something like this lace on the front. Maybe that's a little big. I'm looking for something that's going to go with that peachy stuff. Oh, no, I want this. I don't want that. <laughs> Got this. That's not too bad together. Now that I think about it, I should probably have cut enough so that it would have gone right around the top instead of just on one side. Yep. Okay, we're going to change that we're, because we're going to go all the way around. All the way around. Both sides. So we want it to there. To there. Okay, so we're going to wrap a roughly lace. Make sure it's the top. Make sure that, you know, the bottom is the opening side. We're going to wrap that around the top. The reason that I want this around the top is because if we did this side, we wouldn't be able to use it as a paper clip. So that's kind of goofy looking. I had a vision, but it's not coming the way I want it to. Maybe it needs to be gathered a little bit more. What do you guys think? Yes, Malia's daughters are incredible young ladies. Want much more of a ruffle. Hmm. Maybe I'll do two. Two layers on this side. That could work. That could work. And then that one would go all the way around. Oh, well, that's fuller. That's nicer. What do you guys think? Hey, Brenda, nice to see you. Okay, so I have a plan. If I take I don't have any peach colored paper. Okay, we're just gonna wrap lace around or put lace down on these. I'll just use the yellow again because the yellow seems to work nicely. 
I'm going to put it on both sides. Top to bottom. Now, if you've got lace, it's going to match better together, like a ruffle and a flat. That would probably be the way to go. I'm using the scissors that chew again. So, okay. So we're going to take the glue and we're going to glue the lace on both sides. Let's cut that flat. I have an idea. You guys are going to think I'm on glue, but that's okay. It is, because I am. I've got, you know, glue in my blood. It seems like two strips of glue, one down each side. That catches the heavier bits on the lace. I'm going to do that on the other side. I'm doing it right to the top. So the whole thing is covered in lace. Right, right. Now I'm going to take this one little piece of the gathered stuff. And I am going to put it across the top. I kind of like that yellow and the peach together. It doesn't swear at each other anyway. How are you feeling, Brenda? Now I'm going to put glue down. I will be covering up this piece of this because I'm going all the way around with this other piece of ruffle. So I will start about the middle of the back, around the top. And around the back. Because I want three layers of ruffles. And I am going to use again, we're going to put the paper clips, paper clips, clothespins down to hold it in place. Now I've got this really thin purple. Now I know purple's going to swear at that, but I don't have anything else that's really thin. I was thinking if I could stitch like little curly flowers like this. Or, you know what, let's just use these peach colored flowers. We're just going to use these wired peach flowers because they match that peach ribbon really nicely. And we're going to do like a little floral arrangement coming out of the center. So it's kind of like a little vase. Because we can. So it would be nice if I had little wee silk leaves. Oh. Don't have little wee silk leaves. But I've got plastic ones. Sorry, I'm off screen. I am looking in my bins here for little leaves. I think all my leaves are too big for what I'm envisioning. But even if I just had some sort of greenery, yeah, these some of these leaves are pretty big but let's let's dig on camera so you guys can actually see what the heck I'm doing I'm looking for a leaf that's a little bit smaller oh that could work I have all the toys guys I have all the toys 
I find flowers at the dollar or at the thrift store a lot of times. I just hack them apart to use them the way I want to use them. Okay, I'm going to take that one and I'm going to chop this one off. Let's use the ugly scissors. <laughs> this is why I keep reaching for them is because I keep taking them back. Let's use two leaves like that. And look, I've got some baby's breath. You can use that. We're using lace, though. That'll be good. That'll be good. We'll do a, a little floral thing with that. Because it will work. Oh, wrong light. Sorry. <laughs> Put you in the dark. Now, see, I should have had my hot glue gun. You know what? I'm going to get my hot glue gun now. Because I find it easier to do floral arrangements with hot glue than white glue. Be right back. Get my hot glue gun. Some glue. What's this? I don't need that. Oh. I asked one of the kids to bring something downstairs for me. And they piled on top of them a hot glue and the hot glue gun. Get a couple of glue sticks. Because you don't just use one right in my life. So, Kim is down the rabbit hole. I admit it. I admit it. I admit it. Okay, let's plug the hot glue gun in over here. No glue stick in it. I think it fell out on the floor when I pulled the glue gun out. It did. Do you guys find that... Look at this poor glue gun. It's well loved. Can you tell? Um, do you guys find that a lot of times your glue sticks don't fit your glue guns? Where's that other one? Let's see if this is holding. If not, I will use the glue on that. I'm going to put some hot glue in there as well on this little paper clip. Am I giving you guys ideas to use your paper clips? Okay, Anne, thanks for coming. Usual aches and pains. So we, we have done a couple of things with lace. We did this, it used lace. We did this fairy, she used some lace. Now this one's going to be a, okay. See, I'm even squirreling with my yak in here. Do you find that a lot of times your glue sticks don't fit your glue guns? I find that so annoying. So annoying. You know what? I am actually going to work on top of this piece here because there it goes. Falls out again. Sigh. You know that's not what I want to say, but you know. I am going to work where it joined at the back. Because it will hold it in place. Let's see. That one doesn't fit any better than that one did. So I'm going to put a dab of glue right there in the center. And I'm going to take this leaf and put it like this. And this leaf. 
kind of sideways so that we can see the lace. We want to see the lace. Ouch. Then I'm going to trim this baby's breath. Use the pink ones. So yeah, as I was saying, if I'm at the thrift store and I see silk flowers, I will buy them just because I can take them apart and use them for a multitude of things. And we'll take those pink ones again. I'm going to actually throw these wires out. A lot of times I do not, but that's So I want to have the roses kind of up. I am going to have to make a bow, but that's okay. Now we're going to put another dab of hot glue on the top of those leaves. I know that's a big glob of hot glue. Is a big glob of hot glue. Then we're going to take one of these little things of baby's breath. We're going to put a dab of glue on it. We're going to tuck it behind the leaves. Then we're going to take this one and we're going to put it in front. Uh -oh. So again, this one is going to be sticking out the top of your journal. And this one's going to go in the front on the other side. Now this flat yellow that we used, we're going to make a bow. Long scissors. So we're going to put that together like this. Did you see what I did? We took the flat piece and we're folding it into the center. I have a big wad of hot glue on my nail and everything is sticking to me. So we're going to put those to the center. And then we are going to tie a piece of the yellow lace around it. So I guess that's probably about seven inches or so. We're going to smush it in the middle. You can just put a dab of hot glue right there just to hold that together. So we're going to twist this in the middle so it's nice and tight. We're going to put that on that dab of glue. Flip it over. Tie a knot. Oh, look. Stick it to your... <laughs> you know guys I have done this so many times but of course I don't do it on camera so we're going to tie that really tight in the middle with this now then we have to kind of play with it and make it look like a bow so there's one loop there's the other loop probably could have cut that lace down the middle so that it wasn't as bulky.
So now we're going to trim See, I didn't quite catch that end. We're going to trim these at an angle. And this one at an angle. Then we're going to glue it on the front. So since I've got that end, I'm just going to tuck it into that blob of hot glue I'm just putting down there. Take that and put it right in the middle of these flowers here. Press it down hard. This is going to be a very bulky paper clip. So you're going to want it so that a lot of it's going to be able to stick out the top. And of course, I can always tuck in a couple of more little roses if I like. I think I would like to do that. Let's put it on a page so you guys can see what's happening. So that would be sticking up the top of your journal. All this fun lace and flowers. I am going to stick a couple of more little uh, roses in there because I can. Pink scissors. Pink scissors. So again, I want to tuck that in behind. And this one in behind. I think I would like to see if I can get it just a little bit shorter. The things you go through to make a fun journal. It's all in the details, right? But I mean, Easter's coming. If you're doing Easter cards for someone, you could do like a little florally. It would be nice if I had some more baby's breath. I do not. Of course, I could put more roses in if I so desire. Are we in focus? No, we're not in focus. Focus, please focus. There we go. So then again, if it's on a page. That's how it would look sticking over your journal. But, you know, we're using the lace. We've got made a, a bow. We've got some ruffly stuff back here. Okay, where's that other one that I did the flowers on? I want to put some hot glue on it. This one. This one. Yeah. You need to uh, stick some hot glue Now, I know a lot of you don't have these kinds of floral things. But you could do that with fun beads. You could do it. Um, you could do paper flowers. If you wanted to do like out of the way that I do it with the um, crepe paper streamers, the little flowers, that would be cute too. This one doesn't have lace on the back, but it's fun. You know, we've got this, I should trim this green off just a little bit because I wanted it just to look 
There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay, so we've got this one. We've got this big, beautiful one. I love doing little floral arrangements like this. I really do. And then we've got our fairy. Bet you the hot glue would have worked better for that, too. Should we try another one with hot glue? Yeah. Let's do one with hot glue. See, look. I've got these snippets of lace here. I could use those for wings. But I'm not going to. I'm going to throw this out. Watch. Look, I put it in the garbage. Okay. Let's do another uh, fairy. So if I'm using the hot glue, I'm just going to use it for tacking her down on the paper clip. I'm still going to use the yarn, the uh, crochet cotton or whatever, so that I tie it tight and for the hair. So again, we're going to take a piece about that long, double it. loop so we need the loop right now let's decide what kind of oh look i have a piece of yellow sitting that why i don't know that we're going to use yellow for the wings i wonder if i could do it doubled would that give a fuller wing what do you think you know i kind of like that let's uh see if we can get that to work I want it so that we've got folded edges on both sides so that when it's gathered, it's almost like a bow. Does that make sense? So then we'll put this underneath. I want to make sure I get all the edges. All the edges. Hold it like this. Am I on screen? I'm not on screen. Okay, so I've got it so that the edges are overlapping. Can you see that the edges are overlapping? See, there's one edge here and one edge here. So it's overlapping. So I'm going to gather it in there with this string. Okay, hold tight, hold tight. Right? Putting the yarn through the loop. Make it tight. Pull it tight. There we go. Those are cute little wings. Look. Much fuller. I like it. Okay. Remember, we want the strings going up. So we're going to hot glue that down right there. Right there. First, we've got to make sure that's the opening at the bottom. We don't want an upside down fairy. And we're going to put that into the hot glue. See, I should have used hot glue right from the beginning, and we'd have had all these done by now. Okay, so... How about for the dress this time we use a flat lace? I mean, we use the flat lace there, but hmm. how about what's this? What's this down here? Let's grab this other one. Oh, these are all ruffled laces. Oh, that's a mess. And now I've got crochet cotton. That's cute, but it's ruffly. You know, if I did like a ruffly skirt, like layers, you know, let's try the layers, guys. Ha! Because I can. So we need that. And we need that. So, 
if we do this so that it's like a little skirt, right? We'll just kind of gather it a little bit so it's like a little skirt. I like it. And again, we could do this doubled. Just put a little string of hot glue there. And I'm doing it just underneath the wings. Just underneath. And I'm just giving it a little bit of a tux. So we've got a little bit more of a ruffle happening. Oh, that's going to be cute. And then at the top, I'm thinking if I fold that back. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I've got it. I've got it. Hey, Janine. Nice to see you. I'm making a mess, but that's nothing new. So first of all, I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to put it right in the center of this. Just a little dab. Well, that's a big dab. Never mind. Big dab. I'm going to fold the edges into that big dab. So it's kind of like that. Right? So now we're going to put that up here. Remember, we're keeping the strings up. We're going to put that across there. So we're going to put, oh, look, I got green lace in there. You don't want green lace in there. Glue across that. We're going to put that right over the top of the wings so that we've got kind of like a layered dress happening here. Guys, we've got a layered dress happening. Does that make sense? Can you see that? I need this sticking up. Now, now we're going to do the heads again. Um... I want something a little bit heavier. I'm going to see if I've got some, some, some file folder pieces. Because I don't want white, white. Look, I've got this. So it's going to give it a nicer color than just a pure white. And again, I'm going to trace. Look, I've got stringy glue. <laughs> Yay! We're going to trace the face using this again. Uh, use an orange one. Because we like that size head, I think. So then I'm going to lop off this hunk. And I'm going to lop that off there. I'm going to put them together and cut two at once. How are you, Janine? Oh, this lady's going to have a wonky, wonky head. We're just going to trim off some of these really lumpy edges. Mind you, if I turned it like a turned it into a flower that could be a real cute fairy if you have like a flower face oh <gasps> i have an idea i have an idea blue blue you know guys i'm sorry we're doing i'm squirreling like a mad hatter again or something but I have an idea I see something oh I need 
be the original blue flower. Well, I can see why my desk gets as messy as it does. don't think I've got blue. I've got yellow. Oh, a yellow would be lovely. A red would be lovely. Even a brown would be lovely. kind of like the red. I wonder if I could get that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe yellow. It's a little bit smaller. <laughs> stuff. Kim's got stuff. Put that to the side. You just had acupuncture? What did I love acupuncture? I get acupuncture for my anxiety. I find that works really, really good, too. Okay, let's draw the face. Oh, I've got pins everywhere, lace everywhere. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, let's, uh, we're just doing sleeping face here. I don't think this is going to work with the flower. Oh, look, I get another flower stuck behind it. Well, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We will see. Okay. Let's do uh, sleeping eyes. My lashes. Nose. Oh, nose is wrong. Can wrong nose. I guess we need some eyelids. And some eyebrows. Then we need rosy cheeks. Some pink lips. I think that that, uh, I used a purple pencil for the eyelashes and stuff, which is okay because it's a fairy, right? I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take a black gel pen. Just tidy that up a little bit. It'd be nice if it worked. Maybe I didn't want to do that. Oh, well, it is what it is now. I guess I could turn it over and do the other side. Okay, so. I don't. Oh, thing is, is I want the hair, right? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get the hair. It's 
I can do this. Okay, there's a really big slice. You know what? I'm going to just cut these petals between these petals a little bit more. Because I need this the hair to go through. And behind the face. I don't think the hair is going to work on this one, guys, because it could work. It could work. If I do this, I have to cut that all the way, all the way, all the way. So we're creating as we go <laughs> again, guys. You know how it works. A lot of bulk right there, though. I've got that ucky thing on the back, which is okay because I can put this here. It'll cover up 99.9% .9 of it. All right. So... Let's put some glue. I'm using the glue gun because it's going to work better. I have to slide this so that this comes up between the petals. I'm going to outline this in black before I put it on. We're supposed to be using up lace today, Janine. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm making things up as I go along. Because we've done lace, you know, borders, we've done lace on journal cards, we've done lace on other things, I figured that this time we should do it, something completely different. I'm going to use the liquid glue to put this head on, this face on. Now, I want these hairs to be flat, remember? I want one there. Need to spread out a little bit. Four hairs. That's all my uh, fairies are allowed is four hairs. That's all you're allowed, fairy, is four hairs. Yeah, I wish it was covered by healthcare as well. I definitely, definitely love it for my uh, anxiety. Okay, so that's stuck down. Oh, she's going to be so cute. Now I need to... Uh-oh. Glue this one down at the back. I'm trying not to get the back too, too mucked up. Let's trim the hairs down. Let's unplug this hot glue gun because I don't think I need it anymore. I 
and then we can put it on the floor over here so that I'm not going to burn myself. Okay, we're going to trim these four hairs. Side back, these ones. Can't really see the hairs, but I know they're there. Oh, she's cute, guys. Look at her. She's a lovely little flower fairy. Let's put her on a page. So that would be sticking up the top of your journal. Great way of using lace. And again, we just used the uh, rectangular covered piece. Now I wish I would have used like a green string because that would have been so cute for her to have green hair. I could always uh, take a marker to it, I guess. The wings are a little bit bulky. So that's going to add a bit of bulk in a journal. Let's uh, actually find a journal and put it in and see what these look like right in a journal, guys. Let's see if I got way carried away. And... Uh, He's going to be bulky. In which case, they would go on the covers like we did the last ones, right? Um, let's use this journal. Let's use this journal. Let's stick them in here. This is that piggy pig journal that I did. So stinking huge. Um, we need a bit of a heavier paper. This one's good. This one's good. That one's good. Let's try this one. You know what? Let's see. How you, let's do that. She's cute sticking out the top of a journal. She's good. Let's try this one. Just getting between them that uh, I run into trouble with. Come on. Ah, uh, see, this edging needs a bit more glue on it. That's okay. That is okay. This page. This page is cardstock, so that'll work good. And then there's that one sticking out the top of a journal can't see it too much. It's a nice, dainty, small one. Yes, no? Now we've got this big beastie. page this page this is the page that is a lovely piece coming out the top of the journal don't 
Don't you think? You can go down just a little bit more, but then it's kind of um, adding more bulk to the middle, which is okay. But still, I really, really like that. I think this one's actually going to go with this journal. Why not? It's a floral journal. And then the last one. She's cute looking at the top of a journal too. Well, that was fun. Okay. Sorry. Flare of light. So, yeah. So, that's a different way of using lace, guys. You know... It's these little whimsical things that you can have in your journals that, that make people go, wow, that's cool. Yeah, I really should have used something heavier for this face. It's okay. It's okay. And this one, I think I really should have put more strings with beads on. I could probably tuck some underneath afterwards. But this is really nice and delicate. This, this is just a nice, gentle, gentle piece. These others are in your face. In your face. <laughs> Paper clips. Lots of fun. Great, you know, use of lace. Something completely different. All right. So, I don't know if I can think, you know, we can always do some uh, dangles with lace, right? Should we do a couple of dangles? Got to use this lace. So, yeah, I've got another paper clip to do, but... We will uh, leave that for now. We'll do a couple of dangles. Okay, so when I do dangles out of paper clips, I always wrap them in paper first. So it's nice to have like a printed paper. It doesn't have to be... Um, really decorative but you want something that's going to work for covering it up and see this is long i could probably get away with about three quarters of it yeah i'm going to take about half an inch off this strip and look i'm not measuring i am just Lopping off a hunk. And it's nowhere near straight. I don't care. <laughs> That's still very long. Because you want both ends sticking out. I could probably cut this in half almost. Let's go cut it in half. Doesn't matter because we're covering it in lace and fun things anyways. Much better. So you just need enough paper that's going to go around it a couple of times or one time. We'll do two. We will do two. So then we're going to glue this down. Hey, Sharon, welcome. Kim's down a rabbit hole. 
didn't I put something like that in Becca's thing? And Becca says, what do you have planned this week? Well, we know. We know. So we wrap the paper around pretty darn tight. Put some glue down. Because we want to make sure that the paper stays put. So now we've got a paper clip. It's no longer a paper clip. And we'll do the same thing with this one. We just kind of tuck it around the edge a little bit and wrap it, wrap it. Put glue. And hold it. Okay. So since this is a dangle, what I have run into problems with it, with my other dangles was I had put safety pins on, those little colored safety pins on, and they open the wrong way. So that when I put them on a page, the wrong side is out. You know, Kim is not a rocket scientist. We knew that. Okay, so I like this stuff. We could put that down the middle. Just like that. That's kind of cute. So we're going to cut it right there. We're going to do two different ones. So we're going to take the glue. We're going to run it down the middle here. And we're going to be generous with it. Because this is a heavy piece of lace stuff. In fact, right off the bat, I like having both ends open so that I can put a bulb pin on one end and I can put dangly things off the other. We're going to make sure that that stays put. Back to the handy dandy clothespins, guys. Now this one, what if we did... Kind of like the idea of taking this little wee thin blue and doing one of those bows. Look, that's all that's left. <gasps> Perfect. So the way we did that bow with the yellow, we're going to do the same thing with this blue, but much smaller. We're going to put a nice bow. Some more glue on it, and we're going to need probably a piece about that long. Twist it in the middle, wrap it around the front, hold it with your fingers, and tie a knot. I don't know if this is the way you guys do bows. This is the way I do bows. Make sure that you've got those glued ends in there. Pull tight. See, nice little bow. Now we're going to put that right at the very top and stick it down there. Stick it down. Of course, we could have done the fork method with this as well. Up to you guys. Yeah. Hey, Susan, nice to see you. 
So again, I'm going to take a clothespin, make sure that that's in that glue, and we're going to pin it down. So then we need to decide what we want to do with this. I like the little diamond pattern that's on it. We could put like little bling things in each of those little diamonds. Let's find some bling things. So we could do these half back pearls. Um, it's a green paper clip. So we could use I've got little green uh, flowery things or just circles. The circles are kind of cute. What do you think? It almost looks like a snowman. <laughs> Maybe not all four. I don't know. We could do all four. Why not? It's a dangle, right? It's a dangle. So it should be over and beyond blingy, right? Or we could do these little flowers. You know what? I like these little flowers. They're still green. Not as green as those. You know what? I think I could get away with three. Kind of lose the diamonds on that, but that's okay. Can I pick it up without dumping them? What do you think? Circles or flowers or halfback pearls. Flowers? All right. We'll do the flowers. I have so much junk, guys. My goodness. Okay, so we're going to glue these down. And again, I could have used my hot glue, but I put it away. And I find that this white glue does hold them. Does it does? All right. So let's uh, use pa paper clips. These things again. Clothespins. I love these plastic clothespins, guys. I use uh, wooden ones as well. These can go away. These can go away. So we've got this lovely little bow here. I'm tempted just to leave the bow and the paper. Um, maybe just a string of little, well, just a thin thing of blue bead things. I got, ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. I got these things. Let's just do a little strip of blue sparkly things down there. 
maybe just three of them would work. I'll put some glue down. Because once you pull them off this, I find that the glue isn't the greatest. So there's three. And we'll just put them in that glue. Well, that's cute. That works. That works just fine. Now, you could do a tassel, or we could do a tassel. We could do um, just a chain. I don't want to start hauling out all my jewelry making stuff now. <laughs> I really don't. So how about if, I wonder if, I'm just thinking, you know, think as I go. Because I'm making this up as we go. And then I could take those blue things and put them in the center of each of these flowers. Would that be cute, do you think? Let's see. I got nothing to lose. Nothing at all to lose. And we're using lace. So I'm just doing one of those lark's head or whatever they're called to hold it there and then in the center of each of these flowers if I put a blue thing oh I like it I will have to come back and put glue on it because th these are like stickers, you know. They don't stick after a bit. In fact, I could put one on each side. Yes, no? And then maybe just a couple of strands with some blue beads and sequins on. That's using up this blue lace. Let's cut these at an angle. And the same with these. I think that's what I'm going to do. Those will be on both sides. Okay. Looks like a hippie doll. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, we're going to take this off of here. These are all going to uh, fall off anyway. Oh, look. See? The sticky stuff came right off. So where is that blue crochet cotton that I had? Did I put it away? <laughs> Can't see that I would have put it away. There it is. So I'm going to take two, three, four, five, six. I 
I'm going to do it this way. So I have three of these strings on each side, so that gives me six. I'm not caring if they're equal or not. I'm going to put that at the center of this, and I'm going to do the same thing. Tie that, do that loop through again. Nice. I like the UHU glue sticks. As far as glue sticks go, I just don't, um, I try not to use glue sticks if possible. Whoa, see, look, this came off the top. Okay, we'll work like this. Pull these tight. Got one more. One more. So now we're going to glue these blue things on back and front to the center of the flowers. Dab of glue there. Blue thing. Flip it over. Dab of glue there. Blue thing. Oh, that's lots of glue. I had a piece of paper towel I was using. We will use this. Now we're going to do the same thing on this one. Dab the glue there. Blue thing. Flip it over, glue, these things are now sticking to my fingers because I'm covered in glue, surprise. And we'll do this last one. I like the idea of having these on both sides. Because sometimes they go this way and sometimes they go that way. Anybody playing along? there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to string blue beads on these strings. So it's going to be beads and lace. Just getting the strings out of the way of the glue. So that glue thing didn't really stick to the bead, came off, but it's sticking to the <laughs> lace just fine and to my finger. Ha. Huh. Okay, drop a glue. Am I on screen? I'm not even on screen. You guys aren't yelling at me telling me I'm not on screen. Oh, yeah, ladies, those of you that were playing with Shelly and Malia on Saturday, I was at my local hardware store this morning, and I looked at a mini pancake maker, $25.
$25. So I'm not getting one. Not that I have anything to use it with either, but I just thought, hey, check it out. Check it out while I'm here. Elmer's permanent glue stick. Yeah, I had some purple glue. I got Amazon glue sticks. They were the purple glue. Not a fan. Not a fan. Look at the stuff I'm using up today, guys. I'm excited. Really am excited. Little strip of that gluey stuff. And then this is the last one here. Now I'm going to have to let these dry before I string the beads. Because I'll just be knocking these off and the strings will get stuck in the glue. And all kinds of blue words are going to come out of my mouth and the whole screen is going to go into blue mode. So we're not going to do that. Not going to do that. Okay. Those need to dry. We'll put this back on. Oh, all of a sudden I'm just snotty. Clogged. Bugged. I think that's going to be a very, very pretty dangle. It's a little big, but that's okay. Dangles should be big. Okay, back to this one. So we've got those lovely little green flowers on here. This can go away now. So when I have done these in the past, I have used a lot of little paper elements. Let me just, I just had my dangles. I don't know if you guys remember if you were here when I was doing my dangles the other time. So basically, you know, I'd put a pin on the end, do some... Uh, Little threads and stuff hanging, and a flower. Various ways of doing them. But I used a lot of my paper elements on them. This time we're using the lace. But I still think I would like to do these kind of dangly kind of things. Because I like them. You've almost done the living room. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So let's get some green crochet cotton because it's a green. See, that's a pink one that I didn't put any pink on there. Maybe I'll add some pink beads. So we're just going to take a bunch of crochet cotton and do it so that we've got hangy things. I don't know how long I want them. Just have to remember that when I do it, I'm going to be doubling them up. So they're going to be half the length. Four will give me eight. We'll do that. We will do that. Running out of room. Okay, so we're going to fold it in half. They're going to be pretty long. It's okay. Yeah, Brenda, that's a good idea. I have a daycare in town here that I've been donating a lot of craft supplies to. Because, wow, I have stuff. 
lots and lots of stuff. Okay, so we're going to do that. We are going to cut the ends. It'd be nice if I could have... You know, I wonder if I could take the lace and glue it together this way and turn that into a dangle. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take that. I'm going to cut it in half there. And I'm going to glue those together. You got paper clips dry? Sherry, you want to come on and show? Do you want to come online and, and show what you're doing? And we will definitely put clothespins on these. I know, life gets in the way of living, doesn't it? Like, holy Dinah. I went and got some groceries this morning, and the daughter's coming for supper, so I'm going to have to cook. Not that, you know, whatever. I do like to cook. Let's see how... Oh, that comes off the lid nicely. Whew. Not that I really care. But watch, I'm going to do it again because I'm dipping these ends so that I can thread beads nicely. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take each of these strings and I'm going to dip it in the glue so that I can thread beads. Now the idea is to keep those away from each other so that they don't attach. I guess I should probably just do a couple at a time, but nope, I'm going to do all eight. Because that's just the way it's going to work. What's for dinner tonight? I'm doing sheet pan, uh, Cajun chicken and veg. So that's basically you chop up all your veg and your chicken and you mix up oil with Cajun seasoning and you rub it all over, you mix it all up, throw it on a sheet pan, throw it in the oven and bake it. So I've got sausage to add to it and peppers and onions and mushrooms and cauliflower. And I'm actually thinking of throwing in some pineapple. I know that that's not Cajun, but I just thought the sweet and sour could be interesting together. But I would be doing two pans, one with um, oh, the pineapple because Ron won't be thrilled with pineapple. In a dish like that, yet my daughter and I would love it. So, I just figured this is going to be easier than, like, but a lot of times when my daughters are here, or, you know, just the daughter, I will do curry, which Ron doesn't eat, so then I have to cook two meals, which isn't normal. Like, I'm so used to cooking two meals. But... I figured since I'm on screen today, you're making a granny paper doll? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, since I'm online, I didn't feel that I wanted to do two meals. I 
kind of lazy like that. And of course, I bought fresh chicken back breast because I could use my smoked chicken. But since you're cooking it again, like I thought it might be a bit dry. So I will add some smoked paprika. Like the sausage is smoked, but I might add some smoked blah, blah, blah. smoked paprika to add a little bit more zest to it, like the smoked flavor. Are you doing a, a paper doll book, Teresa? I've seen some of your paper dolls. They're beautiful. Do you want to come and show? And of course, it'll be spicy because I'll add a bit more uh, chilies and stuff to it. But yes, okay. So those are ready to use for stringing. These, I think, still need to dry before I glue their ends to string. Oh, see that one's stuck. Get out of there. Yeah, these need to dry some more. They do, they do. Oh, you're stuck as well. Get out of the glue. All right. Well, I need to uh, wait for some glue to dry, that kind of thing. So I think I'm, it's a very swap. All right. Teresa, do you want to come on and show the doll? Are you up to it today, hon? If you are, I will gladly send the link and you can come on. For a bit. I would love to see. Okay, I am sending it to you in a Facebook Messenger. Um, how do I do this? Do 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 do. Here we go. Invite, copy, and Messenger. Taste. All right, sent you the link, hun. I'll watch for you coming into the back. So I think this is going to be an interesting dangle. I doubled that roughly lace, and it's got that wide ribbon in the middle with string on it. I think that could be really nice. Here we go. Teresa's here. Come on in, hon. Nice Hi. Uh, well, I spit her first. Okay, I'm making you big. Hang on. Oh, Lord. I don't need no big. I don't need to be no bigger. I like it. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me turn off my... <laughs> You're echoing. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Don't forget. <laughs> I was sitting here watching and everything. Anyway, I sketched her out and I colored her dress. Now I'm aggravated with myself because I had the uh, the lace. It's an eyelet lace. I wanted to make her an apron out of. Oh, um, that'd be cute. So here's all these little pins I've been making. These, these, are, these are made with Tanya McGuire's glass blown beads that she that she blows. This is some of her beads. So these I've been working on. I just got to move them out of my way now. <laughs> That's beautiful. what I've been doing. They're beautiful. And, um, but uh, I'm I'm aggravated with me because I can't find the lace I want to make her apron out of. It's oh, no. a it's a old fashioned old timey kind of lace, and and it you know it would be perfect for an apron for her. It would. 
Yes. It, well, you can't see through it. It's eyelet. And yeah. it's white with, uh, like, I think it's got like a little blue uh, trim. Okay. And it's got uh, uh, little red flowers on it. And I thought I could use oh, this lovely. to uh, make the apron strings and stuff with. Problem is, I gotta find my, and I had it right here. I don't know what it is. But so what do y'all think? Does she look okay? She's gorgeous. She's gonna be perfect. So I, I gotta paint her shoe a little bit more, and I gotta cut out this a little more. When I find my other scissors, these aren't good to cut so well with. But yeah. when I find my other little scissors, and they're here on my desk somewhere, and y'all don't want to see my desk, believe me. <laughs> Have you seen my desk? <laughs> <laughs> this is my space I'm working in. Okay, this is everything else is covered. Uh, but you know, I've got, I've got, I got a stack full of of Happy Mail I'm working on. Um, Thank goodness I feel so much better today than I have been, oh, or I wouldn't be doing this. I slept all day Sunday, and I'm so sorry, Kim. That's uh, okay. Because you said you would do that witch thing for me, uh, this little stitch. Did you see me thing. use it? Did you? See and I, no, I didn't get to watch you use it. Like I said, I slept all day Sunday. Well, and I did I, it earlier in the stream to show you today too, but I yeah, I ha well, I had to go pick up a chair. Um, okay. So I didn't get to catch the earlier part of your stream, but I will go back and look at it. No, no, we um, can do that while you're here. Now. And, and Aunt Beck also did one. Uh, I think she did one this morning that I said, well, I'm going to go look. But this one here is that double one. Yeah. Like and everything, it's got it's got the big hole in the little hole. And yeah. this okay. one's for the large eye side and the small eye. And it's got all the instructions just... You know, and I know somehow or another I'm supposed to put the thread on there. Yeah, okay. But I'm not sure how. I'm okay. with you now. You. I'm with you now, okay? So I'll okay. try it through. Okay, now I just have to figure out where the heck I put my thread, guys. Right here. Look, I've got my thread ready to rock. And I got it. Oh, I love that spool holder. Oh, thanks. <laughs> My hubby makes those. Um, we used oh. to sell at a local museum, and it's a Mennonite museum. So the ladies uh -huh. do quilting there. They come in twice a week, and they hand quilt. So they used this, like Ron copied it that, from an antique one that they had. Copied that is great. It, and so that it could just be sitting on, and they can just grab their threads as they need, right? Yeah. Okay, I so love I'm it. Cut a length. And I find that the small hole doesn't seem to work me as well for me as okay. the large hole. So I'm just using this little needle. I don't know what size it is or anything. It's in a bin over there. So then you put, so you put the thread across there behind. Uh huh. And then you push this and it pokes through and you have a little loop. Can you see this little loop? There's a wee oh, little yeah. loop. Okay. Then you pull it. And then you take your needle out and it's threaded. Oh, so nice. Oh, I see. It comes out through there, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you put the thread behind it and you push the little lever and it sticks the little tongue out and pushes the thread through. Okay, it sticks its tongue out at you. Yeah. Cool. Reminds so me of my husband who used to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. My husband used to love to stick his tongue out at kids going down the road. Yeah. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. One of my girlfriends keeps a clown nose in her car and uh -huh. red lights and stuff. If there's kids looking at her through the windows in the next car, she'll kind of turn away, put the clown nose on, and look back at them. Oh, I know. I tell you what, I used to have to get on to Rick a lot because he would, he would, uh, take and he was a long haul truck driver okay yeah and kids you know how they look at trucks yes and he would look at them and the parents you know they'd be looking at him and he would just be driving along parents would look away and they kids still be looking he'd stick his tongue at them and turn real quick 
And he, and they would go, Mom, Mom, look, that driver is sticking his tongue out of me. And they'd look up, and Rick would be dry. <laughs> I told him, I said, you're going to get them kids in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> He said, well, it's just a little fun. <laughs> so. it is. Well, I mean, let's face it. You're in the truck. You're going cross country. you got to have some kind of fun, right? And that is exactly. innocent fun. Yeah, he went He went to uh, through the United States and Canada. Yeah. Um, up into Alaska and everything. I mean, he didn't, you know, he went all over. But yeah. uh, so he, that's what he did. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do now because I want to, I want to, I keep looking because I know I had it right here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's, that's like, I put the plate, the lace someplace safe yesterday when I was cleaning my desk to do the uh, JB5 with Dana and Beth. Yeah, um, I watched part of that. And I got to watch part you, of it. <laughs> you, you think I could find my darn lace this morning? <sighs> <laughs> Not when you need it, right? Yeah, well, it's everywhere. It's everywhere unless you need it. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming on and showing us your doll. She's very pretty. I can't wait to see her finish. Are you going to post her in Beth's group? Um, no, I think I'm going to wait and let the lady get it and let her post it. Okay. Okay. She hasn't seen it yet. Okay, that makes sense. So I I should be finished with it uh, today, and I'll put it in the mail tomorrow and. Awesome. So, of course, you may be watching right now and see it and, and go, oh, is that what I'm getting? <laughs> yeah, but she's not going to see the finished project. This just No, she's not. Uh, she's not going to see the finished project, but um, I'm going to take a picture of it and wow. everything when I'm done. And, and I'm going to keep the picture, but uh, I'm going to let her post the pictures because wow. it's her it's her yeah. swap. You know, this is her swap. Just like, just like she's swapping with me, I'll post what she sends to exactly. me, and then yeah. you know. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. it does. It does. So that's what I'm doing, awesome. and um, I'm I, I gotta um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the back because I don't want a real flimsy. Yeah. But she's on a cardstock, so you know, yeah. that that might be good enough. But um, I'm deciding on whether to color her or not, or leave her. You know, just where she is, who she is. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Um, a, lot, a lot of times I don't color my dolls or anything yeah. because of, of uh, if you decide you want to color her, I send her to you, and you decide you want to color her, you color her the way you want her. Right. That makes sense. So, um, you know, the hair maybe I might color it in blue and purple and gray and, you know, just... Because I think you should be who you are. Exactly. So, exactly. Um, and so grandma's always had the the little earrings and the little necklace on. They do. And and I'm trying to find a um a something to make her a little uh one of them straw handbags out of like they okay. used to make. And, what about and, a piece of burlap? Yeah, I got burlap. I do have that. Because that would be straw looking. So I've, I've got a roll of burlap. So that, and it, and it's good too. So, uh, I mean, it's a good, uh, it's airy, you know, yeah. so it won't be too heavy for the paper doll. So if I take it and make one, all right, Kim, you're going to have to make a purse so I can see how to do it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's take a piece of paper. No, a piece of burlap. Okay, just, just, no, go ahead. Just a hunk of, hunk of paper, right? Right. So, straw purses are usually kind of rectangular-ish. Yes, no? Yeah. You've got like rounded, rounded corners, right? Rounded corners. Right. And then I would go down and up. And then I would just take like one piece of the burlap thread, the string, and do uh -huh. like a handle out of it. And glue okay. it and maybe tie a knot. And then you could put like a little flower or whatever on it. And then just have like... Yeah, you know, they had them little um, silver kind of twisty things on there to close them up and everything. So, yeah. so um, 
if if you glue that down to a piece of paper, glue right. burlap down, then cut like the shape, do the handle, and then you can also cut just like a little flap, like like this kind of thing, a little flap, and then you could put like a, a little button or something on. Right. And the handles, and that would be a cute little. It would. Out. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate that idea. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it on here because I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave some element of surprise. <laughs> well, exactly. And and I mean, maybe you'll like it just like this, so that it's kind of like open. And then you could just take um, a piece of yarn or something just to double the edge, so that it makes it a little bit thicker, stronger. Right. You know what I mean? Uh huh. But, I do. You know, either way, either way. You know, yeah. Uh, Depends maybe on how heavy. Okay. Uh, it's got to stay flat because it needs to go into an envelope. But right, uh, exactly, exactly. So, so yeah, maybe a popsicle stick because you know often when you make paper dolls, their neck and all they get floppy. Yeah. And so I'm trying to figure out some way to keep them from being, you know, too flimsy. And not too much either because paper dolls are exactly that. They're paper dolls. So, so you know, why not Why not just take, instead of a popsicle stick, even just a strip of regular copy paper or book page and glue right. it down the, straight down the neck and the back, and that would give that stability down the middle. Yeah. And that wouldn't add as much weight as a popsicle stick because you have to do it in one envelope, right? Right. For the swaps. So I think maybe right. a piece of paper would be, you know, popsicle sticks would be good, but I don't know how much weight once she's got her purse and other things. Right, because if, if I'm going to use the burlap on her purse, which this is not a heavyweight burlap. No. It's, it's really airy. I guess you can see yeah. that. Yeah. Um, you can kind of see through that paper to see how yeah, airy it is. If you use a piece of coffee dyed paper, you wouldn't but even even at that, I could take a couple of, of these little pieces. Yeah. Let me see if I can show you what I'm thinking. Uh, and take, you know, just some glue. Yeah. And you glue them and twist them to make the handle on it. Oh, yeah. What Definitely. do you think? That would be cute. Definitely. And, that, and I think it would also be cute to put a little piece on there and, and make it like you can close it and open it with a button. Yeah. Oh, Gorgeous. What do you think about I that? Like it. I like I, it. I like I like to ask and see what people think about things and everything because my brain is just feels like it has been baked over the last two weeks. I know the feeling. <laughs> I know the I, I love it. Like the ladies here, the ideas oh, yeah. that give me and stuff, I so appreciate it. It just feeds feeds me, right? Oh th thanks, Brenda. I appreciate your comment. Hi, Belinda. Uh, Sherry, yeah, I, I was thinking about a popsicle stick, but I was afraid it might be a little bit too bulky. Uh, not not just for the envelope, but for the uh, cardstock, because this is a really lightweight cardstock. Yeah. Uh, but I might go, like you said, let's see if I can find one out of all the nerve, right? Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> out of the nerve, I leave everything somewhere else. <laughs> Everything's on my desk. <laughs> Just reach over and, take, and grab what you need, hun. And take and and and, and maybe put a uh, a whole piece of book page behind yeah. her. Yeah. And just glue her to the book page. Of course, it won't. She won't fit totally. I guess it could. What about if you did kitty something. corner, patty corner? <laughs> yeah. Just corner. just figure. Yeah. Just figuring. You know. And everything, and then she'd be kitty cornered, you know, because I can I can take this and turn it over so you can see the uh, other, and then you can see the book page on the back of it. So, yeah. um, I think I think it'll come out okay. I think so. And I need to find my little bitty scissors. Perfect. All right. So, and then, thank you so much for inviting me. Oh well, thanks for coming. I am going to call it a day now. I need to go and start chopping vegetables and stuff for supper. So. Oh, yeah. It sounds so good. <laughs> Thank I you. haven't been able to eat in so many days. My, my stomach's growling. I'm surprised you don't hear it. No, I don't. 
<laughs> it sounds like I got a tiger in my tank. Oh, no. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for showing you us the doll. She's gorgeous. And uh, I can't wait to see her done. That's awesome. Then she won't be naked on the back. That's true, Sherry. She won't be naked on the back. Right. She, she won't be naked on the back. She'll have words. She'll be able to sit and read sideways. <laughs> awesome. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Everybody in the balcony, everybody who watches replay. And uh, I hope I inspired you to try something different. Let's always see use up that you always into the time, guys. And into the time, it'll get done. <laughs> Hugs to you all. And remember, I will not be here Friday. I am taking a course and I will see you Sunday. So have a lovely week, everyone. Take care. Bye now. I need to find my cursor. See, there we go. See you all soon. Bye. Thanks, Teresa.